am celebrating Mrs. Harris with this very well lit croissant. So there you go. <laughs> hey, Regal fans, Matthew Hoffman here interviewing the cast of Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris. Answer our trivia question after this interview in the comments below for your chance to win a $20 Regal gift card. You should have been receiving a war widow's pension. It comes quite a tidy sum. Who is my Eddie? It's a sign from my angel. What are you going to do? I'm gonna buy a dress. A Christian Dior from Paris. <laughs> Mrs. Harris has a certain, as the French say, je ne sais quoi about her. What was it about her and this phenomenal journey that she takes on that really interested you? Well, it's her honesty, really. I mean, she's so open. She doesn't filter her thoughts. And I, I don't mean that in a bad way, but you know, some people need to filter their thoughts, but her thoughts are mostly good and, and for the right reason. And so she just says things as they are. And, you know, she's light and she's got a sense of humor and she's got a sense of the ridiculousness of, of certain things. And she's, she's just very spirited. She brings joy wherever she goes. In this story, not only transforms her own life through this adventure that she goes on, but she transforms the lives of everyone she meets. And I thought that had a very powerful message about the importance and value of kindness, which is something that we all need more of in this world. May I give you a lift? What was I thinking coming here? I'm just a cleaner from London. No, you're a cleaner who dreams of the most beautiful gal in the world. It's not sewing, it's baking moonlight. Mrs. Harris goes to Paris to buy her dream dress when she comes into a significant amount of money. And I wonder for both of you, what was the first thing you splurged on when you came into some money? I'm more into traveling. Mm. I wasn't in, yeah. into a material answer, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Mine was totally material. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've always loved clothes myself. And, and I, I, when I was young, I loved, I loved clothes and was always trying to be a bit different. And I really did splash out on a couple of dresses when I was in my early 20s or even late teens. And they were gorgeous and I had no real occasion for them. I just wanted to, and I still have them now and still wear them. But Leslie, that's research for this role. This was all, <laughs> this was your life's plan. I know, you see, I don't know why I'm just not coming clean. That is, that's right. I've been researching her all my life. Actually, yeah. she, she has the biggest sense of fashion. On, in Budapest, uh, shoot all day, and she would, was wearing, you know, the Mrs. Harris outfit. <laughs> and she would go into a trail and come back as a fashionista. And would just be like, who is that person? Who's that bloke? Looks the master himself, Monsieur Dior. He looks like my milkman. <laughs> The themes in this movie that I, I just love were, you know, um, following your dreams, but also being seen as a human being, right? What do you hope that people see in Mrs. Harris when they see it on the big screen? I hope that they'll have two hours of just warmth and bliss and feeling that this is the perfect let's go back to the cinema in a real proper way. Well, I am celebrating Mrs. Harris with this very well-lit croissant. So <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's a pain au chocolat, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I went to two Trader Joe's to get a real croissant. It wasn't happening, so I had this. Um, I don't know how it got here, but it'll be gone very, very soon. So. <laughs> that croissant is long gone, but our trivia question remains. Here we go. What is the name of the fashion designer that makes Mrs. Harris's dress? Answer in the comments below for your chance to win that $20 Regal gift card. Thank you guys so much for watching and good luck.